Gents, listen up, take notes, because class is in session. So today, we are actually going to be looking into wardrobe planning. So I'm going to run for a few tips for you guys, so you guys have that clarity and understanding how to execute the wardrobe planning. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, styling a new direction of a modern man. My name is Mr. Lou, and I'm here to help you guys out. So today, we are actually going to be looking into wardrobe planning. Wardrobe planning is something that feels like it's intense and it's something you can't do. You think you have it down pat, but then you realize, oh, I'm kind of wearing the same similar things. I'm here to help you guys break down wardrobe planning so to the point of that it's attainable and that the fact that you guys can do it on the fly over time to help you guys get better with doing so. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I do it and what to look for and what are the keys you guys need to be aware of. So I'm gonna run for a few tips for you guys so you guys have that clarity and understanding how to execute the wardrobe planning. Well, the first thing I'll take into consideration when planning out your outfit is your weather conditions. What is the season you are living in? Over here in Toronto, we have all four seasons. So for example, if it is fall, I'm dressing for more of a long peak coat. I'm dressing for, I'm dressing with an umbrella, maybe without, but it will definitely gonna have my boots on. Definitely gonna have not as much ripped up jeans as we probably go into winter during those occasions but I have a lot more sweaters, I'll have a lot more long sleeves and in that type of fashion. So whatever season you are in, you have to dress accordingly in that light, in that fashion. So one thing I'll say to you guys is focus on the location that you currently are living in. Cool. So for those people that are living in a tropical environment, there's no need to worry about the other three seasons out there, but just focus on that one. If you are aware of the environment and situation you guys are going into when you do travel, I'm sure you guys will prepare properly. Tip number two, so the lifestyle. What type of lifestyle are you living? Are you an entrepreneur? Are you working corporate? Are you a freelancer? Are you an artist? Are you an athlete? Do you work in med care? Do you work in education? Do you work in IT? Do you work in tech? Do you work in hospitality? Are you in the finance industry? Are you in fashion? Are you in HR? So whatever work lifestyle you guys are currently in or you guys are transitioning into, you gotta be conscious of the lifestyle of that environment. So what is it gonna be like from Monday to Fridays? How are you guys gonna be dressing on a day-to-day -day basis during those, during, during ideally during those work hours? So you gotta keep that in mind of what your style of, what your style of life choice is regarding that. Uh, even when it comes down to weekends, you guys can be dressing up or you guys can be dressing down because that predominantly is gonna be the style of your fashion. Tip number three. The next thing I suggest you guys to do is to develop a style taste. And when I say style taste, it doesn't mean you have to be a designer. So when I say design taste, I don't mean you have to know every brand and know the history of it and figure out what style works best for you. What I simply mean is when I say design taste is basically finding something that emulates your style. So if you come to me and you ask me, Mr. Liu, What's my design taste? And after a conversation of we talking back and forth and I get an understanding of your lifestyle, what you do, what you want to do, what you want to achieve in life, I can get a sense of where I can put a piece, an element for your design taste to implement into your own style. For example, if you come to me and you tell me, you know, I love kicking back a lot. I have a passion for music. I want to go on tour. I love seeing the globe. I don't like a lot of colors. I like solid colors, I like neutral tones. And I just want something to keep me cool and comfortable and and this relaxed, but like a kick-ass vibe too. So what I'll probably suggest for you is probably a, a staple piece will be a leather jacket. I think a leather jacket will look like perfect for you. I think a leather jacket will be perfect for you because it was something that is your lifestyle and what you want to portray to the world and this is who you are, this is naturally. So I'll probably research a few companies, go out and actually go see the content, see the fabric, see how it feels, see how it fits and make sure it's something that suits their lifestyle and their personality. So when I say style taste, I simply mean finding pieces that suit you. Fourth tip is making sure you know your body type. You gotta make sure you know your body type because it's very, very important. Are you a mesomorph? Are you ectomorph? Are you an endomorph? These are things you gotta know. These are things you gotta understand about yourself. So knowing your body archetype is very, very important because that, was, that is gonna help you determine where to shop 
and how to find your clothes that fit you best. So for example, if you are a very slim guy, you don't have a lot of muscle, maybe you're working on that, it doesn't matter, but you could possibly be shopping at different stores that actually complement you the best based on your body figure. For example, maybe Uniqlo, maybe uh, Club Monaco, maybe, maybe Banana Republic. So these are different types of brands that actually complement people that are in a slim figure that works best for them. My fifth tip for you guys is color guide. A color guide is actually very essential when it comes down to pairing. A lot of guys go into fashion not knowing where to start, and I get it, I get it completely. Where I can help you, where I can help you here is, I can actually provide you a color palette guide right now, right here. Wherever tonality you guys are in, there is ways to complement the colors. The best way I can say after that is when it comes down to matching, is about contrast. It's all about contrast. So if you do have a light gray, just like my toque, having a black like this is great contrast for that because you want to have contrast between your pieces that pop. So for example, if this was my base color, gray, like this light, light gray was my base color and all, all my, my whole outfit was black, my gray would actually pop on the outfit a lot more. So actually having contrast in your fashion is actually key to having great looks and fits. My sixth tip for you guys is having a weekly planner. Having a weekly planner, which is actually very, very helpful when it comes down to it. Knowing what you're gonna dress like from Monday to Friday, planned out in advance, it will actually help you guide yourself into developing your own style a lot more and actually having that more confidence in putting things together. So for example, if you have a, if you have a chart like this, which I can provide to you guys, what essentially you will do is, if you work corporate Monday to Friday, you, what you will do basically have is, for example, maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you will have a certain type of slacks. So you have a certain type of slacks you just love and you just love, like to wear. So, and then from Thursday, Friday, you actually were wearing jeans, maybe some slim fit jeans that you just want to rock. So just having that basis of what I'm wearing from those three days, and then what I'm having for the, re the remainder of the two days of the week is actually gonna help you guys have a lot more guidance. So having a weekly wardrobe planned out from Monday to Friday is actually gonna help you be a lot more fast and efficient and, and execute quickly when it comes to dressing in the morning. So you're gonna be a lot more stress-free and you're gonna be a lot more confident within styling yourself. And last but not least, the question of the day. So the question of the day, guys, is what in your weekly planner is a must have for you? Make sure you leave in the comment section down below. What is your one must have? Everyone has it, man. So what is yours? I wanna know. Leave in the comment section down below. And thank you guys for watching Warkway, Styling the New Direction of a Modern Man. My name is Mr. Lou, and I'll see you guys in the next video.